Hey guys, what's up? This is going to be my video on the top 10 best Android tweaks for iOS 4, 4.0.1, 4.1, 4.2, 4 4.3, and above. Now, all these Cydia tweaks are compatible with all of those devices. All these Cydia tweaks in this video are paid, and I do recommend buying all these Cydia tweaks. The first Cydia source that you'll need is Cydia.exalize.com, and the next Cydia source that you'll need is Repo.insanelyi. Com. Now all these Cydia tweaks I list in this video will be found in the description down below. Now the first Cydia tweak in this video is Android Loader. Now when you look at Android Loader you'll see that it is at the very bottom and it is a tab uh, at the bottom. So simply to use it you simply drag the tab up and once you drag the tab up you will see all the applications that you have installed on your device including the standard music controls to also play and pause music and you have basically all the apps installed on your device in Android Loader which is another cool Android feature that the Android OS has going for it. Now this City Tweak does come with many extensions so now once you open up Android Loader you will see that it says auto hide dock, hidden icons, paging, and many more uh, great features to enhance Android Loader. Now, you can see that you have uh, all these features, and just to apply these changes, all you have to do is respring, which is very simple, and it is useful at the same time. At number 9 is Gravity Lock Screen. Now, Gravity Lock Screen just does what the name says, adds gravity to the lock screen. So, if you... Uh, drag the lock screen upwards and then you release the lock screen you'll see that you just simply unlock like that uh, it is very simple it's very useful uh, you can add much more gravity to it as well and you just simply flick it up and uh, it will unlock your device like so now that again is one of the nice Android features that you can have on an Android phone but with the Cydia tweak it has been implemented into the iOS so what you'll do is go into gravity lock screen and then you'll see that you can change the gravity and you can also change the uh, bounce effect and you also do have some other features including hide bottom bar. This doesn't require a respring and fix and you can just simply change the physics to gravity lock screen immediately which is at the same time. So if you try gravity lock screen with gravity, you can see that you simply flick it up but yet it does have the nice bounce effect and then you will see that gravity lock screen just simply bounces uh, and it unlocks your device like so. The following Cydia tweak in this video at number 7 is Android Delete. Now the Cydia tweak basically does what the name says. It gives you the ability to delete your applications on your device uh, as if you're on an Android device. So you simply tap and drag on an icon and then you can see that you do have a trash can icon uh, at the very bottom which will allow you to simply drag and delete your applications. So this is basically what Android Delete does. It is very simple and it also does come with a settings extension. So if you go into settings and then you do have the option to enable it, remove closed box, confirmation alert, and also the animation speed uh, for the actual uh, Cydia tweak. Moving on to the next Cydia tweak in this video which is Android recent apps. So you have to configure an activation method. So for example, this one is double tap uh, the status bar. And then you'll see all your recent uh, apps that you have recently opened. So if you X out of that and then you open up the uh, app store, for example, voice memos, iTunes, and then you go back into Android recent apps you'll see all your recent apps that you just opened uh, and they will be listed from the most recent app that you opened to to the oldest app that you recently opened. Going into the settings extension of Android recent apps, you do have very little uh, options, but you can just change the color of it, the border, uh, and also does show only show active and home button dismiss which is once again very useful now to configure this great city of tweak what you'll have to do is go into you'll have to go into double tap status bar and then you'll see android recent apps right there which, which is very useful to include it in the activator application as well now the next city of tweak in this video occurs on the lock screen
Now, once you go to the lock screen, you will see that you have uh, this very cool uh, Android-like uh, slider, which if you slide up, you'll see all your dock applications, and if you slide down, it will simply it will unlock your device. And if, now, if you tap on the Safari icon, it will simply open up Safari. And if you tap on the mail icon, it will simply open up the mail. And it also does show the SMS and also the missed calls, uh, all from your lock screen. This is called Slide Away, and it is very useful at the same time. Voice Keys is a voice recognition Cydia tweak which recognizes your voice and puts it from speech to text, uh, all from your device. Now this is a lot like Android and uh, this is very useful and this does use Google's speech to, speech to text recognition software. So if you tap and hold on the screen you'll see that you have voice keys and then right there it will be able to recognize your voice. This is a test, and as you can see, it did recognize it. So what you have to do is simply uh, tap on voice keys, and then you just simply say recognize, and it will recognize your voice uh, from speech and translate it into text like that. Now, this isn't 100% accurate at the same time, but yet it is useful. Moving on to number four of the top ten best Android Cydia tweaks video is Android, is Android Lock XT. So what you do on Android Lock XT is simply enter in a pattern and then you unlock your device like so. Android Lock XT is very simple and if you enter in the wrong code, it will just basically uh, show that it's red and show that it basically is wrong. And then to unlock, you just simply enter in the right code. In addition, Android Lock XT does come with many extensions in the, se in the settings app. So if you go to change pattern, you can change the pattern by drawing the old pattern first. And then you can change the appearance of it. You can select a different theme instead of the Android one. And you can also uh, change the behavior of it. And it will basically show error on wrong pattern and uh, many other useful features as well. And you can also enable logging on it. At number three is sleep effects. Now sleep effects basically allows you to have different effects when you are locking your device. So for example, this one is fade tiles, and it'll basically fade the tiles uh, on your device once it is locked. Now, sleep effects also does come with many options including the effects, the speed of the effects, you can add sounds, and you can also add play, and you can also enable it once you turn on your device. At number two is eye swipe. Now this basically brings the Android swiping feature to your iPhone. Now once again this feature is very nice and it can be faster than uh, typing each individual letter on the iPhone but once you get the hang of it it will be much easier to do so. So for example if you type a sentence like this, for example this For example, this is a test. Uh, once you type on something, you can see that it does show the lines to see which letter uh, you typed. So for example, uh, it says risked right there. But once you, now once you uh, highlight the letter, you can see that it does say something. And you can just see the uh, keys over it so it just makes, so it's easier to show which key uh, you have highlighted and which word you are making up and which word you are typing. Now this is once again one of the best features uh, as an Android tweak on this list and once again this is called eye swipe. Now at number one on the top 10 best Android Cydia tweaks is Notified Pro. Now Notified Pro is in settings and it says Notified and then you can see that you have uh, all these default alerts uh, blocker. Now, when this is now basically once you use this, uh, this will allow Apple's default alerts to be overridden uh, by a plugin. So it won't show those obtrusive alerts anymore on your device, and it will look much better. And you also do have uh, many more features, including uh, select gestures for it. There's notifications to keep, group by, custom icons, uh, ignored applications, manage redirection, status bar icon. There's much more to this notification city tweak, 
and uh, it is very useful at the same time when you're using it. And uh, this basically is a complete overhaul of Apple's uh, alert-based notifications, and it just implements it in the simplest way possible, and it makes it look like it is standard and stock on the iOS. Please be sure to subscribe, please like this video, please follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash applecritics and I reply me for any jailbreak related questions and I'll be sure to answer them and also leave a reaction to this video whether you thought it was incredible or anything of that nature and also thanks for watching.